Hey guys, this is Sandy White from Simply Fit, your number one health and wellness cheerleader. And I'm back with another edition of sharing with you guys today how to get a healthy liver. So if you have a fatty liver, I got three easy tips to help you get a healthy liver. Before we jump into all of that juiciness, I want to thank WYPV7 Community Broadcasters Network for allowing us on their platform again to show you guys how you can have simple tips and strategies to help you overcome anything that's coming your direction. And our mission and our goal is to help you guys, one million of you guys to be exact, with simple tips and strategies so you can overcome suicide and depression. Did you guys know a lack of vitamin D, natural or supplement, causes brain challenges? It's like um, the car battery. You, if, if you're trying to get a jump and you're putting the wires on, the, if you're doing the old fashioned way, because you can get a better visual. If you're putting the black on the red and the red on the black, you got cross wires and your brain is all discombobulated. And when that happens, it causes you to just have a total malfunction and a discombobulation with everything that your body needs to function properly. So when you think right, you eat right, and you feel right. And that's our mission, to help one million of you guys get on track with simple tips and strategies so you can overcome suicide and depression. And in today's segment, and that's thanks to WYPV7 allowing Simply Fit to be on their platform, we're gonna be talking about three simple things that you can do to correct a fatty liver. So one of the things is exercise. So I like my total gym. I'm going to be exercising on my total gym. And then I'm going to show you guys what you can do. Well, I said exercise, but keep in mind, it's a combination of cardio and strength training. Strength training with your exercise is going to shape your body, help your body uh, metabolize the fats and the excessive carbs that you're putting in it a lot better because muscle burns fat a lot faster. And then of course, the, the more you exercise naturally, your body is going to want better foods. That is uh, the byproduct of exercising. So you do want to exercise. It makes you feel good. The endorphins are popping all off and you're just a happy, 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 happy go person. <laughs> so the other thing is correcting a fatty liver is cutting down on your excess of sugars and carbs because that's one of the main things that causes a fatty liver. It's not eating fat. It's actually too much carbs and too much sugar. And then that byproduct, when it's too much, it causes your glucose levels to increase. Now, think about this. You are the size that you are. You don't even think about a little small child. You can just think about the size that you are. And about six sumo, full-size sumo wrestlers jumping on you and they all pile up on you. How well do you think you can maneuver out of that pile? Not very well. And I'll give you another example. A fan that has about two inches of dust on it. One, you're not going to want to run it. Two, you're probably going to think it's disgusting. And that is the sumo wrestlers holding you down. The fan, the gook, it's like you're trying to get through all of that. Like, what in the world? I just need the fan to work. But in order for the fan to work, you got to get rid of the gook. And in order for your liver to work, it's got to get through all of the gook, which is the toxins and the excessive um, the sugars and the carbs and not being, being able to produce the bios that it needs. That's why you're not going to the bathroom and you're constipated and you grumpy because you're tired. So let's show you what you need to do. So it's going to be exercising that incorporates cardio and strength training 
what you're going to do in a minute is going to be cutting down your sugars and your excessive carbs excessive sugars excessive carbs and all that is is anything processed so you need to get into the habit of eating healthier just help yourself out if god didn't create it it didn't grow out the ground don't eat it and don't get funny with me you know with the Okay, well, the corn grew out the ground and then they ground it and made corn chips, but they added other stuff to it. So uh, let's help you out. Natural, you should be able to enunciate all of the ingredients. If it's ingredients on there, more than five, I'll say max seven, then you're getting into the processed foods. So shop the perimeters of your grocery store. And the last thing is really easy. It's a little tart, it's a little bitter, but it's gonna give you the best results that you can ever uh, think of. And so I have on here the benefits of this last one. <laughs> and I'm laughing because I know y'all about to be going like you ate a bag of sour lemon candy, but it's an actual organic lemon, the whole organic lemon, and then you want to cut it up because like a, um, I'm thinking in my mind, I don't know what kind of blender you have, so I'm going to move down so I can keep working. I can work my quads and my calves at the same time. Um, I don't know what kind of blender you guys have, so you want to cut the, the lemon up, and then you want to use five to ten drops, five to ten drops of stevia, and then a cup of frozen blueberries. So I am one leg working my quads, doing one legs on here. We'll do all of this when we come uh, on the second round for you guys. And then, so here are the benefits. I'm up and I'm still doing my, my calves. And I'm, I'm actually doing my quads because I mean, my, my calves and my quads at the same time because I'm on my toes. So the benefits of doing a whole lemon, eight ounces of water, five to 10 drops of stevia if you need it, or agava, and then a cup of frozen blueberries. You drink this daily. The benefits of it will, you'll see that it cleans out your fatty liver. It lowers your cholesterol. You will have a byproduct of losing weight. A lot of you all don't even realize that you've gained a lot of weight because you have a fatty liver. Your fatty liver regulates your metabolism. So when, you look, when your liver is strong and healthy, you can lose weight like melted butter. So in that scenario, I mean easy. So it also helps you for premature aging. So all the gray hair that you see in a lot of people, because it, it, and a lot of times people think someone has a fatty liver because they're overweight. You can have a fatty liver and still be slim. And that's based off of what you're eating. Too much carbs, too much sugar jacks up your liver. So you got all these gray hairs, wrinkles, and um, just aging. Because sugar is going to make you age really fast. And it's going to knock your immune system off for 24 hours. So you want to knock it off anyway. And then... It's going to keep, if you have, if you've ever had kidney stones, they will knock you to your knees. So that's nothing to play with, but um, it will help reduce kidney stones. And then the last one, it'll help with collagen destruction. So you won't be having problems with um, skin hair, nails, aching joints. So, and then... Here are some things that you might want to look at if you're like, well, how do I know if I have a fatty liver? It's a plethora, but these are the most common. You got seriously itchy skin. You got red blotches. You bruise easily, possibly. Now, if your palms are turning red, you need to go to the emergency room because you are really, it, it's, it's a dire emergency, okay? And then you are, you can get tired very easily. And a lot of times when you're tired, you're grumpy and nobody wants to be bothered with Oscar the Grouch. So you got to check those things because if you know you have a good disposition and now all of a sudden you're like a little butt, then you need to cut it out and check out what you're doing. All right. So let's get into, oh, before we do that, <clears throat> I told you guys last week about the acupuncture 
process that you can use for your feet. Now this is a acu this um, has the acupuncture points for your feet, and this is just the body uh, disc. It's a body wave disc, and you can work um, hitting the different points on your feet, bottom of your feet, which will help regulate different points in your body. And one of the main ones that we're talking about is helping you with your fatty liver. It's gonna help you detox your liver. And you can do this so easily because it twists and turns and it's working your abs. And you can do this all while you're watching TV and detoxing your liver. I mean, I love, I told you guys, I love simple things but I like them where they really work. All right, so let's, we have a little bit of time, so let's do a quick full body workout. Now I am going to be on the other gym and I am going to get my cord <clears throat> because you have to work out. When you work out, you sweat and guess what comes out of your sweat? Toxins. And guess what's clogged up in your liver? toxins so your liver wants you to move so you have to move you don't have to do anything strenuous like Arnold Schwarzenegger but you gotta move you got a sedentary lifestyle you gotta get your butt up and you gotta get going so I'm putting my feet up and I am doing my biceps but I'm doing them underhanded four Two and one. I'm gonna do my triceps by turning around. Hands are down. should be up and now I want you to turn your feet in and you should be starting to feel your body heat up all right this is three four five and I'm gonna move up on my toes six seven and now I'm gonna do one leg so I'm on my left my right is extended all right so this is four, three, two, and we're going to switch and work the right. Left is extended out. You're always going to have one side that's stronger than the other. So this is why I like doing uh, singles because when you're doing like we just did the sumo squat, squats are good. It's an all over body workout. You want to get toned, do squats. But what I also share you always have one side that's stronger than the other. And when you put them together, you never know. So I like to do a single, both, and then the combo, all right? So we're gonna turn around, work out back, and then abs. Now, if you're having problems, can't keep your legs together, you can use a resistance band, 
or simply cross. And I got my hands underhand because I really want to work. Okay? Two, work in the back. Four, five, six, seven, and eight. And I love the back. I can do about four more sets of these. Now we're going to do our abs. All right? So in my case, I'm just going to take and put my leg up under here, under the handle. Now, you can work the back of the thigh and your abs at the same time, because you always want to have your core engaged. Now, you can pull up. I have my hands up, but I want to make sure I'm using my legs and my abs, or I'm not moving at all, but I have my legs, my ankles anchored into the bar, and I'm just strictly coming up. Four, three, two, and one. And then the back of the thigh. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So, for you guys, because I'm using my total gen, I'm not going to use excessive weights because I want to make sure that I can do what I got to do. All right, I'm on the total gen. I'm going to do one at a time bicep curls all right so arms are as if somebody took a rod put it through your arm through your side you don't want it to move you want to be straight back straight up and if you're not sitting in a chair you can do this on the floor with a squat so if you're sitting in a chair everything shoulder back abs are tight and the arm is right up against that side and then forward fingers right at that shoulder okay that's the move that's the proper move right now if you like you want to be on the floor you could be on the floor with doing this move and your tricep so you could be on the floor now i'm resting the right hand on the right leg and I'm going to work the bicep left side that's hanging down four fingers shoulder so now I'm using my leg as leverage so I don't wiggle wobble and then I'm up down bring it up down you want to squeeze when you get it to the top and bring it down doing the tricep same leg laying your chest on now you want to take the weight and instead of it being in your palm where palms are up, now your palm is going to the wall. And I'm using my leg with my chest on it and I'm going to bring the weight to my shoulder and kick it back. That's all your tricep. Kick it back. All right, here we go. That's three. And blow your air out. On when it's hard, you want to inhale, and then when you're releasing, you want to blow the air out. Last two. You should feel it burning. All right, right there. Now, we did, as usual, our squats because they're good. And let's see. Can you guys see me? Let me move back here. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Can you see me? Can you see me? Can you see me? All right. So I'm down in my pretend sumo squat because you won't be able to see me. But you would squat down, hold, and then bring it back up. Squat and bring it back up. You can hold your squat with the weights, no weights, but it's easier because the way the camera is angled, you won't be able to see me. But if you have your weights in your hands, this is me standing up. This is me squat. Can hear my weights? Squat. And then I bring it up. And then I squat. And now you can do your sumo. 
and you can keep, you know, you can keep them all the way out. Squat down, hold them around, and keep them out. Don't lock your knees, or you can bring them in. One, turn. All right. Now I have the resistance band. Um, if you don't like using the weights, but you can do the resistance band and work the side of your thigh, the back of your leg, the whole shebang. And I showed you guys this once before too. Um, Cause I don't want you going and spending a whole bunch of money. Resistance bands are short, sweet, and easy. So you're gonna get right here so you can see me. And I am going to All right, so I'm stable on the total gen. Imagine me being on the floor. And then I'm going to kick up so we can work the inner thigh. Inner thigh. And you should be able to put your hand on the inside of your thigh. Turn so that your toes are not going straight up. The side of your foot is going up. That way you really know that you're working your inner thigh. Now, if you were doing your squats with your free weights, this helps you keep your leg stabilized so you're not moving them too far apart. And now you can also do the outer thigh. I'm on the total gym and I'm keeping it stable. You would be on the floor on your knees like a tabletop. I think this is much easier and I'm working my outer thigh. You can actually do this on your bed if it's easier, but you would have to turn so your feet are going up against your headboard because you want your feet to be stable. And I actually like this better than being on my knees because now my knees are feeling achy and painful. And for y'all that don't want these hips, this, resist, this band, this resistance, well, it's a cord, not a band, but the resistance cord, you could do this before you get out of bed. So pretend you got it. You can take the um, bands if you want to wrap it around you or the core. And let's do eight on each leg. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Left side. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And I'm going to tell you something. If you're sitting in a chair, you nobody has to know that you're doing this if you're sitting in your chair doing this you are sitting your legs are under your desk three four five six seven eight nine ten and if you're having challenges with your hip flexors use these bands eight seven i'm on the left side six five four three two and one so remember your body enjoys and wants you to move. So you gotta get going. Let me make sure we're on good time. Yep, we're on good time. So you can walk in place, jog in place. I'm on this total gym and I'm doing one leg at a time and I love it. Where are my cords? So This right here is no different than when you're standing up doing your arm rotation. It's helping you with your shoulder. And you can um, also, if you want to, you can do your back routine. Remember I showed you guys, you would take, if you don't want to lay on your back, um, if you lay on your back, the well, well, let me just show you this one. Three weights, arms are up, abs are tight, shoulders are back, arms are up, tight, pull it down. And when you pull it down, you're squeezing your back. You're bringing it up, you're bringing it down, squeeze. Forward, palms down, bring it back. I know you guys don't have a total gym, but you don't have a reason not to do it. And then the last one, you're like, I don't like none of those. That would be the plank. So you can do a plank 
on all fours. Put your military style, squeeze your abs, and then you hold 30 seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, last set. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. A plank, like I just did, takes care of all of that. But you need to practice on it. So I just help you guys out. Your body needs you to move. That's one of the things that will help you correct the fatty liver. You don't got no excuses. You don't have to use weight. You can use your body weight. You can use free weight. You can use a total gym. Or you can do a simple plank. 30 seconds. Do that daily. Excuse me. You have worked your entire body out with a plank. And then increase it five seconds a day. And you might have to start off with five seconds. But at the end of 30 days, you'll see a total difference in your body. And you'll see how much strength you have gone. Um, you've, you've increased for your body. Your body needs cardio and your body needs strength training. So you got to move. No more sedentary lifestyle. Number two, no more excessive carbs or sugars. And then the last one, your magic drink. I shouldn't say a magic drink. Your health detox correcting for correction for a fatty liver is a whole organic liver, five to 10 drops of stevia. If you need it, a cup of, of um, blue frozen blueberries. And then I, I add in two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar. You can put some crushed ice in it and voila. When you have a healthy liver, you're gonna lose weight a lot easier. All right, guys. I'm your host, Sandy White, your number one health and wellness cheerleader. If you want a free consultation to get a game plan that's specifically designed for you to maintain health and achieve your health and wellness goals, go to WYTV7. Click on the broadcasters button until you find me. Send me an email so we can set you up for your free consultation. Until next week, I appreciate you guys. I love you guys and stay healthy. Remember being healthy and fit is more than just exercise. So I will see you guys next week, 7 p.m., same time, same channel. Until then, be blessed. Bye, guys.